I'd like to tell a story about one of our Atlassian customers who is a large financial institution. Prior to purchasing Jira Line and Enterprise Insights, they identified their key problem as not being able to hire people fast enough. When asked to elaborate, they stated that they had made commitments to deliver certain priorities by the end of the year. Based on delivery rates calculated from JIRA data, they knew there was no way they were going to meet their commitments without more delivery capacity. They purchased JIRA Align so that they would get everyone on the same page to determine scope, roadmaps, and dependencies across teams and portfolios. They purchased Enterprise Insights so that leadership could glean insights when and where they wanted it. Upon integrating the first few projects between JIRA with JIRA Align, a pattern started to emerge. Though the business was telling stakeholders they would complete work every 90 days with the help of Enterprise Insights, it was discovered that it was actually taking twice that on average. The report was simple enough to create. Inputs included the average rate of delivery, the amount of work in the group's backlog, and the process steps of their workflows. The next question to answer was, what were those teams working on? Again, with the help of Enterprise Insights, it was discovered that some work was taking years to complete and some days. How was that possible? The answer was a lack of accountability. The features that took the longest were just forgotten. Someone started the work but forgot to update the work item. For features that only took a day, what really happened was the delivery teams were doing all of the work but the work item above it, the work that was supposed to be on the roadmap, never got pulled into the workflow. The owner merely pulled it through the workflow within a few minutes after the work was all completed. But as part of this process, the greatest enterprise-level insight was yet to be shared. And that was that most of the work that teams had been completing wasn't even a priority. Again, with the help of JIRA Align and Enterprise Insights, it was discovered the work in JIRA was not linked to priorities on the roadmap. In JIRA Align, these are called orphaned objects. A report was created that allowed teams to review work that was currently in process and see if it was or was not supposed to be linked to priorities. Though teams were working super hard, leadership needed them to stop working on things that were not a priority and start finishing things that were. What was the outcome? By removing the orphaned work from the backlog, teams started finishing the priorities. Their rate of delivery increased by about 42% month over month, dramatically shortening time to market. With the newfound delivery capacity, leadership didn't need to hire the five teams they thought they did, resulting in a $6 million cost saving in the first year. When it comes to reports and insights, within the Atlassian ecosystem, we're going to give you some options given how your users like to consume information. First, reports from Power BI and Tableau can be embedded under external reports. By selecting one of the external reports, we can see a collection of executive KPIs. The values are a combination of calculated objective scores originating from JIRA Align and trending data originating from third-party systems. But if you don't want to come into JIRA Align to view this report, that's okay. You can still access the same reports from your reporting platform, and it doesn't matter if it's Power BI, Tableau, or something else. And if teams are not used to going to JIRA Align or your reporting platform, you could always embed the report in Confluence. The goal is to meet the users where they are and use the information to inform and improve. Just as a side bonus, when the report is created and embedded in Confluence, you don't need additional JIRA Align licenses to view it. Let's take a few minutes to look at Enterprise Insights from a technical perspective and see how data flows. We start with your JIRA Align environment, which can be connected to both Atlassian and third-party tools. JIRA syncs with JIRA Align everyone to three minutes, and you can take third-party data and update JIRA Align endpoints via our REST API as frequently as you need. When we get into Enterprise Insights, it's really an ETL from this source system into a data mart. We transform the data, cleaning it as we move it across. It's a single source data mart for JIRA Align so that data is available as a connectable data point. 
everything where Jira Align sits is a transactional system. That system is highly secured and locked down for anything reaching into it. We create a secure tunnel to get the data out and into the data mart, and then from there, we can grant you access to that data directly. We're taking it from the native transactional form into a denormalized reporting BI-friendly form. We're flagging changes that may not be recorded in the source system, so if you want to load another data source, you can easily identify changes. Every time we add new JIRA Align functionality, we stop and think about how it will be used in a report, and we format it so that the data content that we have available in our data mart is ready for reporting and report. Friendly, and not just the transactional system source data, which is normalized in a very different way. Enterprise Insights is designed to allow you to go and pull all records if you want, to get as much data as you want, and to hit the system as hard as you want. As you explore the 500-plus tables, you can do big queries on this database. It's a separate environment that is available and provisioned and resourced specifically for that purpose, and so that allows you to connect into your world. If you have a data lake, you might start a project to begin loading this data into your lake. We recognize that a lake load process may take a while. As that team gets ramped up, you have day one turnkey reporting access for folks who want to connect to the data and start looking at it. They can open Tableau, Excel, Power BI, or whatever the reporting solution is and connect directly to the data source and begin building reports and visualizations directly against the EI database. So you're probably asking yourself, why do I need Enterprise Insights? Let's look at three common use cases, explore, extend, and evolve. The first use case I want to call out is explore. That's a recognition that any customer using Jira Align or transitioning to Jira Align may be in the middle of a transformation. When you are part of a transformation, many things are changing. There are new governance and practices involved. There are new data points that you're starting to capture, and there is a strong need for an analyst role or someone who can get into the data and look for anomalies and trends. Given your size and complexity, this can be a very hard thing to support in the product because Jira Align is a very robust solution meeting the needs of a lot of different types of organizations. We have a lot of different views and reports to cover a lot of specific situations, and we try to satisfy the needs of a lot of customers. But no one knows everything you might need as your organization transforms. There's a need for an analyst to sit there and maybe chart something out and look for a blip in the line. Or maybe start with a really big query that pulls way too much data and refine that into a good insight. And those are things that you don't want happening on the core application right in the source system. It doesn't matter what you're bringing to the table, whether you use Tableau, Power BI, or Excel, or any of the other visualization solutions out in the market. We wanted all of those to be available for the analysts to get in and look through the data, so we wanted to enable that analyst role to really partner with the transformation team and find those insights and look for gaps in data, especially early in the transformation. Our second use case is to extend. We recognize that you already have some maturity around enterprise reporting. Maybe there is a data lake solution in place where you already have data streams from your organization to feed into. You have existing dashboarding, you have existing reports, and we don't want to have to push data into JIRA Align just to get an extra column on a report or an extra attribute. We want the JIRA Align data to be able to flow into your data lake or your dashboards that you have today so that you can mash it up with your other data sources and create your combined views or deliver data that's from the JIRA Align system to stakeholders that are already receiving reports from an existing mechanism. The third and final use case for Enterprise Insights is to evolve, and that's recognizing the concept of insights and reporting and getting access to this data is going to evolve over time, as your usage of JIRA Align is going to evolve over time. The strategies for the transformation and scaling models change over time. 
the methodologies, and our product changes. We'll continue to introduce new features, new relationships between objects, and so all of that is going to continue to evolve. What we're promising as part of the Enterprise Insight solution is that we also continue to evolve. That data source, along with JIRA Align, keeps up with your changes. We have teams dedicated to keeping that data model current with what's going on in JIRA Align so that it's available for you for turnkey reporting that you can hop on and start building your insights on those extensions of the data. Think about the level of effort if you had to export data out of JIRA and JIRA Align and then piece it back together and try to build that into something intelligible on the other side. To summarize, we've done all of that work for you. That's part of the Enterprise Insights product. You have a turnkey, ready-to-build report data source for building your reports on.